Isaac Newton is the first to understand that white light is composed of colors. So he takes white light, puts it through a prism, and he gets Roy G. Biv. And then he took those colors, merged them back together, and he got white light out the other side. That's some freaky stuff. That's just freaky. Yeah. That red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet equals white. William Herschel comes around later and says, I wonder, just to even ask this question, I wonder if the different colors of light have different temperatures. So he laid down the spectrum with sunlight prism, and he put a thermometer in each color. And then he had a, an eighth thermometer. I don't know if he used one and did the experiment eight, seven times, but he had another thermometer that he used as the control thermometer. You put that over to the side mm -hmm. where there are no colors. And that would presumably just measure the room temperature. Mm -hmm. So we, and the control thermometer goes through the roof. Yes, it does. And, <laughs> and, and he's looking at it. Something must be coming through this, the prism that I cannot see. And he describes this as light unfit for vision. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he does. He discovers infrared light with that experiment. 